went to law school at William Mitchell College of Law in St. Paul. Um, it was There are four law schools in Minnesota, and this one was known to have a clinical um, focus so that I would be graduated from law school and knowing how to practice law and having had clients already. Well, currently, I um, do exclusively collaborative practice. I was a trial lawyer, um, and it, I found that I was using skills that I wasn't enjoying using very much. And um, the times that I would go outside of the box and use the skills that I really did enjoy using, um, they weren't really skills that were valued in a litigation firm. So um, it was a good fit for me to leave uh, the litigation field and started doing adoption work from my home. And then I heard about collaborative practice and realized that it answered all the reasons that I don't do trial work anymore, as well as all the reasons I had always avoided um, family law. Um, and I had avoided family law because I didn't want to hurt kids, and it seemed to me that that's what family law did. So when I learned about collaborative practice and saw that you could focus on the kids and help them you know, transition into two households, two healthy, sound households, that just sounded really appealing to me. I, I actually heard about it, um, didn't believe it was true, thought it was a little bit too utopian, met with uh, Ron Oski, and he described not only his experience with collaborative practice, but also this space that I'm currently in. Um, and it sounded too good to be true, so I called the gal back who had introduced me to him and asked if he was crazy. And she said he wasn't. I said, great, I'm signing a seven-year lease. So I signed a seven-year lease, um, and then started taking every training I could find in Minnesota and a couple other states. Um, and once I felt like I had enough training, I stopped. What I was doing is uh, meeting with couples, and then if they decided to do collaborative, I'd refer, refer them out to other attorneys. Um, and once I felt like I had enough training myself, then I started taking those cases on. Um, and it's just not stopped. I make a living doing only collaborative. I think um, some people are assuming that the business model they have with a litigation practice would be the same business model they would have with collaborative. Um, and that's just not my experience. I, um, I don't have a business plan. I just go to work every day and get calls from uh, friends and family of former clients who've been really happy with my work, or people who saw me speak somewhere um, and they want to hire me. So that's what we do. There's just not an issue about there being enough cases. Um, there are times where I actually have to turn cases away. Um, sometimes it's that I don't want to be involved in the case for any number of reasons, and sometimes it's just that I'm too busy at the time and I want to make sure that they are served well. So um, I think once you, you know, I think what I had done was basically jumped off the cliff and made up the water as I was falling down. That's how it's been described by a couple of people, um, and it seems to really fit. I, there's no reason in the world you can't do a practice that is exclusively collaborative if you really want to do that. The Collaborative Alliance Suites, um, it's incredible. Uh, I come in every day and the first thing I see is the pendant light hanging and it's um, I just think of it as the light at the end of the tunnel. So I know that when I get into this office in this space I'm going to feel the synergy and um, there's just something in the air around here. Uh, we all love what we do. We all help people and feel good about it. So it's really incredible. Um, every day is a little bit different. I might start the day with chocolate cake with all my colleagues or I might start the day with meetings and then visit with other colleagues later. Um, but I know that in every day I'm going to see some of my closest friends. Um, officing here, I, you just kind of become a little bit of a family. Um, if I'm working on a case and I'm just not sure what to do with it and uh, maybe I'm starting to feel a little bit hooked and I'm not sure how to get myself unhooked, I can turn either way when I walk out of my office door and find somebody to talk to. Um, so, and for me, I'm extremely fortunate. I started this practice and right away was doing cases with Ron Oski and Stu Webb and Judy Johnson and so I think I've learned from some of the best um, and it's been just an incredible experience and part of it is being in this space and just having an opportunity to get to know those folks. If someone from a law school came to me and said that they wanted to start a collaborative practice um, I'd encourage them to keep taking as many ADR courses as they could get their hands on and then also just keep working on their own internal issues. Um, for me, one of the most important parts of my job is to stay grounded, whether that's doing meditation or going sailing or just something that's really for me. Um, as long as I do that and then at the same time keep up on the aspects of the law that I need to be aware of, um, I think it really helps me to be a better practitioner. 
And so I always encourage, I do talk to a lot of law students uh, that want to know how I started this practice. And that's one of the things that we really focus on when we're talking is what is it that they love to do and how can they get more of that in their daily practice? And then what is it about collaborative that intrigues them and try and help them to discern whether that's really the right fit for them. It's, um, it's not for everyone. It truly isn't. But the people that uh, seem inspired by it for certain reasons really seem to want to do it. And I just encourage people to really follow that path. I, I guess the heart and the soul of it for me would be helping people to make decisions that are best for them. Um, and being able to use my skills and my knowledge of the law to help them do some reality checks um, and determine whether or not the offer that they're considering making is really going to go over well, um, whether the offer that they're considering turning down without saying yes and, um, whether that's really the best choice for them considering all of their goals. And when I talk about all of their goals, um, I spend a lot of time with my clients finding out what it is that their goals really are financially emotionally, physically, spiritually, and the whole gamut. Um, I find that when they get to the point of reaching an impasse, whether it's internal or in the process itself, going back to those goals and those interests are really the key for them. Um, and for me, that's, that's kind of the heart and soul of it all. Uh, when I was in litigation, I didn't get to do quite as much of that. There were times where um, there would be a huge contract dispute and I'd have to encourage my client to really think about whether they wanted to have ongoing contractual relations if we got through it. And inevitably they'd say, well, yeah, it's, it's a good business. It's a, you know, I'd like to continue working with them. So we'd find a way to make it work for them to solve the problem and yet continue the relationship. And so with Collaborative, that's really all I do day in and day out is find a way to help them meet their needs and meet the needs of the other parties so that they can continue being good co-parents. And it's great. I, I mean, I come in here and I, actually I was just um, this morning talking to a friend and I can't remember what we were even talking about. And I said, oh, that was when I was a lawyer. And I, that, that's how I truly feel. I'm, this is not, I'm not a lawyer. I play and I get paid to play and I get paid to help people. And I'm using my lawyer skills. I'm keeping up my license, but it's, it's doing it in a fun way and that's productive and helpful and, um, it was pretty rare that I felt like I was playing when I was a trial lawyer. So certain depositions would feel like playing, and this uh, this is playing nonstop all day. And then I go home and play some more. So it's just fun.